Hey guys, well, back working on the meal today. Uh, in the last video, I did some, uh, just did some checks just to make sure that the meal was machining accurately. And I, I've been doing a little machining, and I've noticed that I wanted to try to direct the coolant flow down towards the drain. Uh, it just kind of runs, actually, most of it runs off towards the back corner over here. Um, just because of the way it's angled and the stuff that comes off the front edge kind of hits this pant tray here and then just kind of flows down this way uh, on most of the meals that I've seen Tormac meals and other CNC conversions that I've seen people have put this kind of gutter on each side of their table and so I thought well maybe I'll try to do something like that um, I think they use this gutter to cover up limit switches, but since I don't have any limit switches connected to my table there, mine are located in different locations, I don't really need it for that. And I got to talking to Chad about it, and he found this J-channel. And what this is, is um, you can get this at your home center, Home Depot, Lowe's, those type places. Uh, you can find it online and um, but what this is is just to hang a mirror so the mirror sits down in there and then you can just you know mount this through these holes on the wall uh, this is aluminum uh, it was I think $14 for six feet and this is what I had left but what I did was it fits on there perfect and I just uh, used the t-slot in the front here and mounted the two holes now this is this <clears throat> this is actually at an angle and I just drilled a hole through there and mounted it to the t-slot it's nice and secure this side is up a little higher and then this side is a little lower and it just kind of runs off this gutter and then down towards the drain now on the back side I wasn't as fortunate because the back side does not have a t-slot so I had to drill and tap a couple of holes not a big deal because this casting drills fairly easily and I was able to just reach over and drill and tap it just move the X table all the way forward and then drill and tap in these two locations now remember I do have the two drain holes for these um, uh, pockets here so I made sure I drilled through for those and so any coolant that gets down into the pockets actually comes out the drain holes as well. And then it's also tilted toward this side. And so it keeps all the coolant just kind of flowing in this direction that runs off the table. Uh, it's working pretty good. So that is the gutter. Pretty straightforward and simple. And it works uh, really effective. So... I think that takes care of that. Great idea, Chad. Glad you found this. Uh, next thing I did was um, this pocket here. I wanted to put a cover there. It's not necessary. I haven't found that any coolant gets down in there. But just to cover that up, I went and printed a cover with my 3D printer. Turned out pretty good. I actually got these little tabs here to hold it on. Just barely, you can just barely see these tabs. Uh, so yeah, so let's pop that on. Maybe. There we go. And got that covered up real nice. Alright, so that wraps up this video. Just kind of trying to keep you up to date with what's going on with the meal. Um, little small things, a little gutter installation in the cover. Uh, uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe. And most importantly, 